Hello, Kids Creek friends, and happy Easter. Uh, we are definitely missing seeing you every Sunday and going through our stories. Uh, my name is Miss Danielle. I'm one of our storytellers at our Sycamore Creek Potterville campus. And I'm here today to tell you our story from week four of Lent, and that's Jesus' death. Now, last week, one of Jesus' friends turned him into the leaders who want Jesus dead. Who turned him in? Can you remember? It was Judas. Another friend said three times that he didn't even know Jesus. Who was that? Peter, yes. Now what a change from the time Jesus came into Jerusalem with everyone celebrating him. I want to warn you that today's story is really sad and maybe a little scary for you too. But remember one very important thing, Jesus comes back. Today's story isn't the end of God's plan. What a wonderful thing, right? Now our Bible passage today comes from Luke 23. I'll go ahead and read you that story now. Jesus was in trouble. A group of religious leaders not only wanted Jesus arrested so he'd stop teaching, they wanted him gone for good. They brought Jesus to the Roman governor, the man in charge of the whole area. They told this man, named Pilate, Jesus keeps causing trouble. He thinks that he's a king. Pilate disagreed. Pilate said, I don't think he's done anything worth killing him over. But a mighty roar rose from the crowd. Can you imagine? They were shouting, kill him, kill him. So the governor had said Jesus didn't do anything wrong. But do you think the people in the crowd agree? No. The mob shouts so long and hard that Pilate gave in. He agreed that Jesus had to die. He turned Jesus over to the angry crowd where guards grab Jesus and hand him a big, heavy cross to carry. Up the hill they walked, Jesus stumbling under the weight of the cross, the pain of a crown of thorns on his head, the pain from being hurt by those guards. The crowd yelled the whole way up the hill to a place called the Skull where Jesus and two other criminals were sentenced to die. The soldiers nailed the men to the crosses with Jesus in the middle. What happened? What do you think Jesus is feeling? What is he thinking? Jesus said, Father, forgive them for they don't know what they are doing. He said this while the crowd was yelling at him still. He saved others, they said. Let him save himself if he is really God's son. The soldiers mocked him too by offering him a drink of sour wine. They called out to him, save yourself. One of the criminals hanging beside him said, prove you're the savior by saving yourself and us too. But the other criminal believed Jesus was the savior and simply asked, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. I wonder what that means. Today, you will be with me in paradise, Jesus said to him. By this time, it was about noon. Darkness fell across the whole land until three o'clock. The light from the sun was gone for three hours, completely gone. Suddenly, a curtain in the sanctuary of the temple was torn down the middle. Jesus shouted, Father, I put my spirit into your hands. And with those words, he breathed his last breath and he died. Now, when all the crowd that came to see the crucifixion saw what had happened, they went home in deep sorrow. Jesus' friends stood at a distance watching. 
what do you think they were feeling? What do you think they were thinking while this was happening? Jesus didn't stay on the cross long. A good man named Joseph asked for permission to take down Jesus' body and bury it in a rock tomb. This was late on a Friday afternoon. As Jesus' body was taken away, women followed and saw the tomb where his body was placed. Then they went home and prepared spices to anoint his body. But by the time they were finished, it was the Sabbath, a rest day, so they rested. That's Luke 23. Now, what a story, right? It's a lot to kind of unpack and it's pretty sad, but we know what's coming and that this is not the end of God's plan. Now, if you want to retell this in any way at home with your family, you can act it out um, base by base of the story. Or if you want to get creative, you can paint or draw a picture of the three crosses on the hill. Close your eyes and imagine you're there. What do you see? What do you hear? What do you feel? Now I have some questions for you that you can reflect on with your parents and I'll put it in the comments too. So think about this and then discuss it at home. On the cross, people teased Jesus and asked him why he wasn't saving himself. Why didn't Jesus save himself? And the second question, Joseph, a man at the end of the story, shows respect for Jesus after his death. How does he do this? How does he show respect for Jesus? And why do you think he did that? Some questions to think about. I look forward to sharing the next story with you. Have a great day, friends.